sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her! Oh, there's nobody here, huh? It's locked. A carving of armor. That's strange. See, this is already getting interesting, because in the original, there's a zombie right here. Waiting. But in this jump off right here, there is no zombie. Alright. Oh, shoot, he's right here. Okay. See, the placement is all different. Steady. Look at that. I love this gun. I'm loving this gun already. That's two headshots. The first two zombies we see, we shoot their heads. How about that? That is beautiful. This door is locked too. I'm loving the different camera angles. Look at this. Yes, yes, yes. I approve. Oh, shoot! Oh, oh! Back it on up! Back it on up! Wow! Mm, mm. I did not see that coming. Is he dead? You're kidding. Wow. I thought the zombies were supposed to be harder. Look at that. I'm getting headshots and killing zombies and only three shots? That's crazy. Look at this. Damn. Jill is a deadly bitch right now. Whew. Look at that. Okay, which way am I going? Let's go this way. I'm really digging the new camera angle, so. No nothing in here. You know, it's really interesting to see because I did another project with Resident Evil Chris's scenario with the original that you guys will see someday but so I've been playing Chris's scenario in the original so much that it's just a delight to be Jill and I've been playing the original so much that this is gonna really stand out like every difference wait there's a book right here let's read I said I was gonna read everything even the boring crap botany book about medicinal herbs as you may know there are many plants to have medical effects since ancient times humans have been healing wounds and diseases and diseases using various plants. In this book, we're going to sample three herbs that grow around the Raccoon Mountains and give their outline as examples of those plants with medical properties. Each herb has different colors and different effects as medical plants. The green one recovers physical strength, the blue one neutralizes natural toxins, while the red herb does not have any effect by itself. The red herb is only effective when it is mixed with other herbs. For example, if you mix this herb with the herb that recovers physical strength, the recovery effect will be tripled. By adjusting the amount and experimenting with these three herbs, you can create various kinds of medica uh, medicines, but, but, I'll ha but I'll leave the details in your hands, because that's the best way to acquire the true knowledge. Alright, first book. Botany book. That's just, I guess, an overview on the health, the healing system in this game. Now, I don't know what awaits me out here. I don't know where the zombies are going to be at. They might be in the same spot. Oh, nope. Look at that. I'm getting headshots all day. Shooting off arms, too. You gotta love it. Shut up. Look at that. This isn't that bad. How about that? It's locked. Carving of armor. Let's see if there's a zombie up here. Yeah, I can see him already swaying back and forth. Alright, forget him. He should still, in the original, he's not a factor at all. Because once you come back and finally need to go down that way, he's replaced by something much worse. So, we're gonna go ahead and trek on downstairs. Oh, wow, this is definitely a new angle right there. It kind of makes it hard to see what's, what lies ahead. Uh, damn, he throws up! There's two! Oh boy. Oh shoot, it's locked! Uh oh, I'm trapped! <clears throat> Woo, get out of there, Jill! If it wasn't for the headshot thing going on right now, I would have been bitten. Alright, I'm kind of using too much ammo, but. I've, I've, uh, played the original so much that my zombie dodging skills are really up to par, so. Bullets aren't really that important. Only about bosses. Okay, broken shotgun. Now there's supposed to be a chemical for killing the plant in the in the little small plant room or whatever. But no, we have a broken shotgun here. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we'll take that. 
go ahead and dump off this knife. There should be, yep, bullets in here. Alright, I like all my items above the line. And, uh, um, and all my healing items below it. So, uh, yeah. One herb. Hmm. I wonder. You know what? I'm not going to use this quite. Well, I can't use it at all. Because I can't get out of that door. But alright, we're good to go. Hmm. So maybe I shouldn't have gone this way. Alright, but we, we sure have a lot of, you know, I've been doing a lot of shooting and I got a lot of bullets. 45 rounds. So. And I, I'm i killing zombies like crazy. Yeah, this, this was not expected. Look at that. This place is going to be a ghost town and I'm not even really trying to make it that. I'm just getting headshots like crazy. This gun is awesome. It is forever in my heart. So happy to be playing as Jill. I get to look at female ass. Look at that. Yeah, wiggle. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Alright, enough of that. Look at that. This place is totally empty because I've been dropping people like crazy. Huh. Okay. Let's go this way. N new camera angle. Love it. Best BGM in this whole game. Let's soak it in for a second. I love it. Yes, very, very creepy stuff. I, I still remember this BGM. Here's a better look at uh, Jill's outfit. Nice. Look at those cans. Oh, oh I could just unbutton that right now and... Uh, Relieve some of her stress. Because you know she's under stress right now. Look at that ass. Look at that polygon ass. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Polygon ass. Yeah. Look at that. It's a bad bitch right there. Drawing down on you. Could you really be mad at a girl who looked that good pointing a gun at you? I wouldn't be mad. I'd be like, baby, put that gun down. You don't want to do nothing. But let me do something to you. All right, enough. Let's check this out. Damn, somebody got effed up in here. I hope this blood isn't from my teammates. Shoot, I hope so too. Somebody got effed up in here. Look at that. That was like a throat slash right there. Like somebody's jugular just got slashed open and all over the wall. Damn. Either that or they were bleeding from their arm and they just like, you know, they were walking all up against the wall and shit. <sighs> Whatever. Let's find out what lies. It's probably the scariest room in the whole game right here. I remember when I was younger, this room was so frightening. Cool, but frightening. Let's go. Oh, shh! Jill! Oh. <laughs> Don't scare me. That's You're one to I talk, man! To say. Exactly. Are you supposed to be going over the first floor, Barry? Yeah, you're right. But just take a look at this! It's forest! Oh my god! Damn. It's awful! I'm going to find out what caused Forrest's death. It looks like he was killed by a crow or something. Whew, that's embarrassing, killed by a crow. Can you look around the first floor, Jill? Look at that ass! Not Barry's, okay. Jill's. Hey, Jill. This must have been Forrest's. You don't have a weapon. Take this with you. Oh, <laughs> yes, Bazooka, I humbly accept. <laughs> oh, are you kidding? Whew, now, I know 
in the director's cut, a big selling point on it was the fact that Forrest, right there, the downed fellow member of the uh, Stars team, comes comes to life as a zombie. And because Barry is in here, I'm kind of confused. That's supposed to happen. Maybe if I come back later, it'll happen. But I can't believe. Shh! You can't believe what? Okay, let's see if we go out and come back in. If Barry will still be here. And if we can somehow awaken Forrest from his eternal slumber. Oh, oh, nope, nope, he's still in here. Well, I guess I'll come back here later, later, and see what happens. But, I want to test out my new toy! Alright, I'm gonna head to the other side of the second floor, main hall. Through these two double, these double, ooh, look at that, oh, sexy. Uh, you know what, I'm not sure that these were uh, original cuts, uh, original angles that were just cut out. I'm thinking, like, they just added this and say, yeah, we'll call it a director's cut. You know, they improved upon the angles they chose. And, you know, just added this in and said it was a director's cut, but that is lovely. Because why would you, you know, the original, the original angle right here is not this good. Why would you take this out? That is nice. That is real nice. You know, you can see kind of dimensions. You can see the bottom, you know, the first floor of the main hall and everything. All right, let's do this. I am so using this bazooka on somebody. All right, who, ooh, new angle again. Who wants it? Take you out. Let's use it on this douchebag right here. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna blow you away, buddy. Come get some. Come get some. Come get some. Oh, look at that! Oh, his guts and stuff fell down to the first floor of the dining room. Ha <laughs> ha! Boy, you poor bastard. Man, I didn't mean to do that to you, guy. Okay, I totally meant to do it. Let's let's give this guy some. Oh, he thought he was gonna get a taste too. He thought he was he was like right up on me. He thought he was gonna get to feel on those nice boobies of Jill's, but to no avail. Huh, that doesn't look like a jewel in the grasp of that statue right there. Huh. Oh well, let's push this bad boy over. Destroying fine art, you gotta love it. I love these new angles, this is crazy. Huh. Now, I, there's one thing I do remember about this. This is going to be a zombie right in my face. Yep, I do remember that much. Let's do this. Oh, auto-aim, how I love thee. It's so nice to have some damn auto-aim. Oh, shoot. There we go. I was just about to say, give me a headshot. Now, I wonder if these guys throw up. Because in the original, they all throw up up here. Let's find out. Oh, yeah, he sure does. Yeah, we'll save these guys for later since they throw up. We'll just save them for later. Uh, two doors down here. It's locked. A carving of a helmet. And this one, passcode or something. A numeric key panel. You don't know the pass number. I think that's, I think that's only accessible in Jill's scenario. Like, you only get the number on Jill's. On Chris's, I don't think you ever get it. Alright, what awaits us down here? Oh! Ooh! Oh, that made me jump! Woo! Bravo! Bravo! Wow! Ladies and gentlemen, I physically jumped. I did not expect that. That was awesome. This is why I love this series. <laughs> this is why I love this game. <laughs> Alright. That was beautiful. Ugh. 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 Made my eyes water. Oh, an ink ribbon. Okay. Let's take that. I'm coming up close to 30 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, save right here. And uh, cut it. I guess I'll put this bazooka away. I don't want to have too much fun with it. I don't want to have too much fun. You know. But I am going to save. That was awesome. What a what a what a perfect time to to to, to stop.
you know, I gotta, I gotta go for like 30 minutes because my capturing equipment is not up to par, and I'll, I'll start dropping frames if I record for upwards of 30 minutes. So, go ahead and use this, because I love to be in full health. I don't like to be hurt even a little bit, so... I'm gonna go ahead and save. First save of Let's Play Resident Evil Director's Cut. Look at Jill's tatas! Oh! Chris, I'm sorry. You're, you're, you're the man, but <laughs> there's nothing like playing with Jill. Especially in this outfit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dare I say the best camera angle in the whole game? Alright. Enough perving out. Let's save. You can save your progress with this. Will you use the ink ribbon? Yes, indeed. And a total blank slate for us to use. Alright. This is the G-Virus. I'll be right back with more evil. Stay tuned. Okay! We are back with more. Let's play Resident Evil Director's Cut, and I dropped 49 frames on my last recording. Which is bad, which means I'm gonna have to deal with sync issues. Which I'm not looking forward to, and I didn't quite have the volume of, uh, the recording of the actual video footage of the game where I usually like it to be, which is annoying. It's not a real big problem. I could probably make it unnoticeable, but it just means I gotta make the volume settings a tad bit different when I edit it up, which is annoying, but either way, uh, vitamins and serums, either way, we are ready to continue, and hopefully I won't drop any frames, and I didn't really check, but hopefully the frames I dropped were towards the end of that last set, so let's pray, and, uh, yeah, let's venture on within the nightmare that is Resident Evil. Oh, oh, dogs, oh, man, oh, okay. oh, it's locked, a carving of armor, what a, what, that's a nice still shot right there, the glass all up in the camera, the dog right there about to bite Jill right on the nice round ass that she has, it's pretty cool, oh, that wasn't cool though, damn, there's gonna be zombies in my face, I know it. Oh, wow! Woo! That's a fast one right there! What, what, what is that? That was a fast one. Did you see that? He took off that. Where'd he go? <laughs> oh. That's the Sonic the Hedgehog zombie right there. Mm, close. You have used the lockpick. Let's go in here. Man, that's one fast zombie. He was a runner before he got turned into a zombie. You know, he was on the track team. That's all that was. All right, will you take the clip, the magazine? Yes, I will take the magazine. All right, what else we got here? Oh, what's this? Oh, come on, give me a head pop. Give me a head pop. Give okay, an arm shoot off is cool. Mm. Ah, I would have been perfect to head pop that guy because he's like so close. What's this? Shotgun bullets. Finally, we're going to utilize the shotgun shells. Yes, we'll take those. Somehow we have to get a shotgun. It's file time. Keeper's Diary. May 9th, 1998. At night, we played poker with Scott the Guard, El Elias, and Steve the Researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. May 10th, 1998. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. May 11th, 1998. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and he woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looks like a space suit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder. Those researchers never rest, even at night. 